Okay guys, Big Boy Gaming here. Um coming at you with XCOM Enemy Unknown. I love this game. Played it multiple times. Never actually got all the way through the campaign. Um I don't know why, not really any game flaw that blah, blah, caused it, but hopefully we can pull through this together. Um I really think you're going to love it. It's a tactical game. This is one of the only games I know of that you can play for 20 hours and lose miserably you can make it all the way to the top and fall straight to the ground like a real military and like this game should be so let's do this let you watch the video so you can get an idea of the stakes and what is going down of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. XCOM. Enemy unknown. Love this game. South Africa is by far the best. All alien interactions within, you know, interrogations or observations are all done instantly. It's great. It doesn't take up a lot of time gets it over with. I suggest it to any new player. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Strike one, this is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. The goal here is to insert. Insert yourself into the situation, find the aliens, take them out before they can do anything else. Just kill. Well, in this case, there are plenty of other mission objectives later on in the game, and there are more alien types later on in the game, so don't let this one video completely dictate your choice on whether to buy or play the game. Let's get started. Every unit has their unique and very specific job. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. We're going to get some backup over here for him.
Then we'll take our other two soldiers and we will go ahead and proceed to look around. Because yes, we have to take those aliens out, but we also have to continue the job, which is to find all the aliens. And I'm assuming they're more than two. See that, what he's doing right there? If I kill that guy that just took control of that alien's mind, it will kill both of them. So the goal here is to take out that guy, not the guy shooting. See if we can do that. I don't know if we're going to be able to this turn, but... Nope, but we're going Overwatch. He runs around here, he'll die. Get these guys moving on, but still in cover. You don't put them in cover, you will regret it. One thing about Exxon, harsh. You leave them out of cover for one turn, they'll most likely die. Oh, he snuck around on me. How'd you miss that? How'd you miss that? Mind control is over with, so we're gonna try to take a shot at this guy. Dead. See you in hell. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Cover to cover, guys. Cover to cover. What to do, what to do, what to do. I guess we'll go here. It's not great cover, but it's cover. Look sharp. Enemy there they are. something out there. Hopefully we can get through this with absolutely zero casualties. And a match can go from great to you're screwed at a snap of a finger. Or a flip of a coin, whichever you prefer. Okay, we got one under mind control. Hopefully I can kill the one that's controlling and drop it. I'm under fire. Come on, take him out. Miss. Damn. Damn, our luck is not with us today. Uh, you can you don't have to go in the specific order that they line your soldiers up on. You can click any soldier you want and automatically switch to it. Taken care of. I had to kill the one that was under mind control. That sucks. I wanted to demonstrate it, but I guess I don't get that opportunity this time. I'm all right. Oh.
Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Okay, that's why I want to stop for just a minute and let you know that um, if you blow up the aliens, you will blow up the body, so you can't research that, and you will blow up the weapons even more than they already do. They automatically self-destruct when the alien dies, but you can get the fragments to research. If you use explosive, both the body and the research is gone. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about blowing them up with a rocket launcher. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold, providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Okay, promotions consist of rank. Your soldiers will rank up over time, and you will give them Our sniper attributes. Our specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. All of these locks are abilities that you will unlock as your character characters um, gain experience and go up. Labs. Now. You will need to have corporals, majors, and captains, and lieutenants later on in the game. So you want to try to keep your soldiers alive as long as possible. Because without these key attribute soldiers, you will be stuck with rookies when you need people that have special abilities to do things to combat aliens. I mean, they're going to get smarter. You need to get smarter. And you can't get smarter if you have to continuously train recruits over and over and over again so just keep that in mind you got to keep your soldiers safe the heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad with the rocket launcher in tow there are demolitions experts commander to the research labs Come the on. assault class serves as our front line they're the first ones into a fight and the last ones out The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Okay, it looks like I have some new um, research opened up. This is the containment uh, <clears throat> thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Uh, the containment thing, exobiology, whatever it says. Either way, it's a containment for live specimens. After you research that, you will get the art gun where you can tase them and take them out, but that's later on. Here's the weapon fragments I was telling you about that would have been destroyed if I would have blown them up. Uh, alien, yeah, this is th from the aliens. It's a type of armor that you can research, which I'm automatically going to research as soon as I get the opportunity, the which I have labs. now. Commander to the research labs. We have collected four alien bodies that would have been destroyed if we blew them up, but we've collected them, so now we can research them. <sighs> and there's the weapon fragments. That's weapon fragment research backwards sorry there these are gonna have two videos i'm gonna sit by and let you watch them hello commander my name is dr farlan i oversee the research labs this is where all of xcom's research and development takes place we have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and start that armor research, like I said. Uh, because automatically you want your soldiers to be as defended as possible, so they'll live longer and rank up and are more likely to get more kills and go on more missions. This will take eight days. It's a normal, I guess they say. So let's get that started. I agree. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. 
Now we're going to engineering. Another video. Hope you enjoy. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Okay, guys, what we're going to do here is I'm going to explain something. Now, your soldiers are equipped with things like med kits, scopes, that armor I just told you about when it's done researching. Now, when you buy these things, you buy a certain amount of them. I suggest buying as many as you need for your soldiers, but what... I what I need to explain is when your soldiers die out in the world, combat, these things are returned to your inventory. So you won't need to keep replacing them over and over and over again. You'll get them back and you can give them to other soldiers. Keep that in mind. I'm going to get two of those because I need them badly. Barracks. You soldiers. These are all the soldiers that you currently have or I currently have to mission control. currently have commander to mission control this is a school where you get attributes we got this this add this adds one soldier to our group our squad this adds another soldier so we have a total of six soldiers new soldiers are automatically promoted to see I, I, I can't read that I'm a horrible reader but you can so there you go Heal twice as fast from wounds taken in combat. You get the gist of it. This is the school where they learn. You can hire soldiers here. Currently, I can only have 99. I have 13. I want to take that up to 20. To mission control. And you will need to hire more soldiers. Because the more soldiers that die, the more soldiers you're going to need. If you don't have any soldiers for a mission, when a mission comes along, you're pretty much screwed. This is the hangar, where you take care of all the planes that guard the airs of airs air above the world. Right now, we're just got two of them, and you can when equip their loadout. Jet within the hangar, you can choose to modify its current weapon loadout to best serve our needs. As he said, you can get new loadout weapons and you can put them on your planes and da 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 da. That's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see here. New soldiers arrive in three days. Those are the soldiers we just recruited. The science will be done in eight days. And the, the council will have a report for us in 31 days. The report is to grade our job and let us know if we did horrible or good. And let us know what the terror levels exactly are in each location around the world. And you hit this button and days go by as demonstrated. Every once in a while, a random event like this will pop up. You have one of three options to take care of. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Okay, guys. Um, this one will give us $200. It's an easy. Easy, it'll give us four scientists. Easy, it'll give us four engineers. I suggest going with engineers first. The more scientists you have, the better shit you can research sorry about that the more engineers you have the better stuff you can create let's get started and your soldiers have loadouts as well you can clear the unit add different people if you're not happy with the current soldiers you're bringing i am you can edit the abilities when they level up the loadout you can customize them to your liking, change their name, change their looks, change their armor color. And you can dismiss them. Don't do it. <laughs> Let's get it going. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. You can return to base if you don't have the equipment you need to take care of the mission or if you just forgot something or if you don't want to do the mission at all and you want to look for a new one. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. 
We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Itchy. Let's get through this mission, guys. Hopefully, we can leave without any casualties. That's the goal. Central, this is Big Sky. The strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Look sharp. Enemies rolling up. Uh oh. I moved a little fast, guys. I shouldn't have took that big old step towards the house. I should have slowly maneuvered in. But we all make mistakes. Especially me. <laughs> Go here. Now, the orange means that when you move, it's just going to end your character's turn. The blue means that you can do other things when you get there. Um, I'm going to put this guy on overwatch. So if the enemies run by, he will automatically, without me doing anything, attack them. See? Blue. Orange. Or yellow, whichever you want to say it is. That guy that I ran up to the house is probably going to take a bullet. Yep. Oh, they missed. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. No way. Damn. Nice shot. Overwatch. We gotta be wary of that Overwatch. He'll shoot at us without it being his turn as well. You know what we're gonna we're gonna move this guy i can't leave him here oh no here we go yes that's a lucky character they've missed him twice yes 45% chance. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it. I'm feeling lucky. What do you know? I'm lucky. Running gun. You can run and gun, as the expression leads you to believe. Now, we could shoot this guy, which is under mind control, or we could shoot this guy and hope that we hit him and kill both of them. So I think that's what we're going to do. Two down. We're going to start moving up on this one. Okay, that's good. I'm glad that happened. This car is on fire. You have one turn to move any soldiers within its area away before it blows up and most likely kills them. Love that shotgun. I get a lot of use out of that shotgun. Commander to the situation room. Commander to the situation room. The situation room. The last thing I'm going to explain before we conclude this video. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. 
four corpses, eight alien weapon fragments. Okay. We got four engineers. Panic has increased in Asia and Africa. We will be in touch, Commander. Every member of the Council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan our deployments carefully. Okay, guys. You build satellites to go with satellite uplinks, which I will explain further in more episodes. But what I'm going to explain now is the Situation Room. The dots. They tell you what the current panic level is. Let's go with India. That's a three-level panic. That's a lot higher than I would personally like it to be. Um, so, from here, you can launch satellites. You can visit the gray market, which is where Several you sell. Several members of the them. council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. As he said, we haven't researched either one of these, so we wouldn't want to sell either one unless we absolutely had to. I'll let you pause and read this. I'm receiving you. We'll monitor that contact. But right now, we have... Activity. We can put one more satellite up because we have two uplinks and one satellite. So, okay guys, that includes... It. That concludes... Concludes this video i really hope you guys had fun we will start up right where we left off next time big boy gaming